Hey guys, it's Marcy, the official OT. So I know I've been gone for a really long time. Um, I was supposed to post a video months ago and I already recorded it, but honestly, life has gotten in the way, school has gotten in the way. Um, I know I told you guys in the past that I enrolled in the doctoral program for occupational therapy. So I've been like super busy and I have two classes left out of the semester and then I graduate in May. So a round of applause, applause for that third degree. But today I want to talk to you about um, basically an act that I've been advocating for for one of my classes, my ethics courses. And um, I know this channel, I have always talked about like being a minority um, and how I don't really see minorities or African Americans like myself in the role of OT. So this act is to let you guys know about it being um, introduced in May 2021, and it's called the Allied Workforce Diversity Act of 2021. So it's basically an act to get more minorities to be introduced into the role of occupational therapy. Um, it, it's also not just the roles of occupational therapists, it's respiratory therapists, speech and audiology, th audiology therapists, um, respiratory therapists, and physical therapists. So it's amongst the therapy world. And I feel like it's something super important we all need to advocate for. Um, I know through my experience, uh, previous videos I have shared that when I initially applied to start my journey of occupational therapy school, when I did watch videos, I feel like there were no videos of people that looked like me that were applying. And if they were, they're like super outdated and super old. Um, so I feel like individuals or students that are in, in um, that are interested in occupational therapy or any of those professions do need to see more faces. They need to know what this profession entails. I know even the process of getting into school was totally new to me. I had to figure out resources on my own. I had to ask questions. I had to do a lot of research. Another thing is like, there's not a lot of funding. I feel like that's something that you have to figure out as far as if you want a scholarship, if you want a grant, what schools apply, um, will give you some type of aid money can be an issue so basically if this act does get passed there's supposedly money um that's going towards these specific health rules um so i guess i don't know how they would really um you know sponsor or even fund individuals but um it's for students um and i believe i'm not sure if it's including like actual professions or professionals that want to um, improve on their profession as far as like going up a level as their doctorates or something like that, I would have to look into it. But I feel like this is an act that I initially didn't know about because it's been at a standstill. I feel like there has been no progress. And this is why I wanted to bring it up to you guys because I feel like it's really important for us to advocate not only as minorities um to improve diversity but also as a profession i know that you know in my experience when i see my patients some of them are happy because they get to have a health provider that looks like me or that can relate um i feel like sometimes it's also overwhelming when you work somewhere where you feel like you don't have a lot of people that look like you um i remember i had an experience where um, I went to one of the school nursing facilities that I am per DM and I went there and literally I felt so happy when I saw a person that looked like me. Literally in all of my years of just being in school and not being with the people that I went to school with because there wasn't many of us, but seeing a person, a colored woman, a black woman, that was older and seeing her we just had that like that little spark like we were so happy and I remember she like um 
we met and like she like tapped my arm it was like i'm so happy to see a familiar face and there's also a physical therapist that was black as well so i feel like it's super super important and i do want you guys to visit the link um it's also part of the american um occupational therapy association aota so i want you guys to advocate um this is also trying to be passed through Congress, so this is like a national thing. This is on a federal level. This is not just a local level, but you can contact your local representatives in your state, um, your local Senate, or your senators for, from your specific state. Like This is something that you can try to achieve. I know I've talked to the representative of my state, and this is just something I have to advocate them on, av advocate um, for myself on and educate them on because a lot of these representatives or you know individuals that work for Congress they have no idea they have so many policies put into place it's really hard to keep track of every single one of them and it's kind of you know sad to even talk to them and hear that most likely this is an issue that's really important right now but I feel like if we all bend together and, you know, increase others' awareness of what's going on in the profession, I feel like it would be a better outcome. So that's why I made this video. Um, so I'll insert the link down at the bottom. I'll link my Instagram um, because I've been posting about it. And I just wanted to uh, reappear because I know I haven't been here and actually I don't. It's been a while. It's been months. So I just wanted to give you an update on that. So tune in for one of my old videos I filmed like months ago. I would have to literally do an update from that video because so much has changed since I made that video. Um, I started another job. Um, school, like life has just gotten in the way. So I know I need to get back and catch up with you guys. But that's my input i want you guys to support um the alley workforce diversity act of 2021 um i appreciate you guys and the support and that's it bye guys